While usual restoration practice is to buy a new wiring loom, which is available off the shelf for most popular classic cars, we chose to build the modification we need for racing into a loom which we made up ourselves. The cable bundles are held together with small Ziploc ties, rather than a complete tape covering. This gives much easier access for further modifications or additions. For the alternator, we chose a modern lightweight unit from Powerlight. It has a large pulley to reduce its speed, because the engine will be revving to twice its standard speed. And the battery is lithium-iron, weighing in at only 1.3 kilos. As far as possible, we've kept the original appearance of the dashboard. The whole unit has been moved back towards the driver by 3 inches, to put it within easy reach, and naturally, we've had to add some additional switches, gauges and warning lamps. We're reusing or renewing with like some of the switches, but others have been replaced by ones with more usable functionality, like the indicator dip switch, which is from an MG midget. As well as a taco positioned in clear view of the top of the dash, we've added three additional gauges for water temperature, oil temperature and oil pressure. The oil pressure gauge is supplemented by a low pressure warning light, set to come on at 25 psi, and the water temperature by an overtemp warning light. A standard MSA approved battery and ignition kill switch is built in with external and internal pulls, each next to the electronic fire extinguisher activation buttons. The extinguisher is plumbed in to direct a stream of fluid through a jet situated above the driver's footwell and another jet in the engine bay directed towards the carb. We've paid particular attention to the fuses which are more comprehensive than the original A40 setup and are now readily accessible, together with the TACO recording switches behind the glove box lid. In place of the original distributor, we used an Aldon unit with electronic igniter instead of the original contact points. This modification, which is allowed, removes the worries of maintaining points and failing capacitors and will reliably work up to our top rev limit of 9,000. The ignition system is completed with a limiter to prevent accidental over-revving. <laughs>